Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our children's sermon. It's good to see you today. Today, I want to talk to you about the Sunday that we are celebrating this day. And you might not think this Sunday is a holiday because we just had Thanksgiving, right? And Christmas is still a few weeks away. But today is the first Sunday of my favorite time of year. It's the first Sunday in Advent. And Advent is that time leading up to our Christmas celebrations. But in the church year, Advent is a time when we talk about how we're waiting for Jesus. We're waiting for Jesus at Christmas, right? We're also waiting for Jesus to reveal his light in this world. Advent is a season of hope and it's a season of expectation, right? Not just waiting for those Christmas presents, but expectation for Jesus. It's a season where we think more about, about peace and about comfort and about all the wonderful gifts that Jesus brings to us. And while we wait in this season of hopeful expectation, of hopeful anticipation, we wait by doing some things. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. Now you might remember that when we're in church and you saw it at the beginning of the service today as well, that we do something called the lighting of the Advent wreath. And each Sunday we light one more candle. So today we lit one candle, right? And in a few weeks we'll light all four candles as we get closer to Christmas Eve. And that's the light shining in the darkness, that bright, bright light of Jesus that gets brighter each week while we're waiting for his coming. Well, lighting an Advent wreath isn't just something we can do at church. In fact, I want you to think about, if you don't do this already, lighting an Advent wreath at home. And that's what we do in our house every night during Advent. So starting tonight, we'll light one candle for the next week, and then next Sunday night, we'll light two candles, right, as we get closer and closer to Christmas. And you may have an Advent wreath already with candles in it, and you may not. If you do, I hope you'll light it tonight. If you don't, there's a lot of ways you can light an Advent wreath. And you can get, I have, I have brought a couple with me today. This is an Advent wreath, and so you can buy a ring like this at the store, and you can decorate it if you want, like we did with this green stuff. And then you just put four candles in here like that, right? And you can do that with any kind of wreath like that. You just put the candles in there. Or we made these at church a couple of years ago, and maybe you still have yours at home. But you can just get a plate or a piece of wood and just put four, look at that, four votive candles. These can come off. Four votive candles on there or four tea light candles. And each night you can light one of those candles. It can be that simple. Any candles you have at home, a plate that you have at home, anything can be an advent wreath. Maybe you have like a log and you can put four candles in a log or something like that. There's lots of things that you can do. But lighting that advent wreath every night is something that I hope you will do in your home. Something else we do in our house is that we wrap books for every night of Advent. And we've been doing that since our boys were really, really tiny. And now they're getting really, really big, but we still wrap these books every night. And we open one the whole time during Advent. And we have some very sweet books like this one, A Star So Bright. It's a Christmas tale about the star that led people to Jesus, right? Here's another one about a star that we have, and this little boy with a star in the Christmas pageant. And look at this, this book is well loved too. We've been lighting that or reading that every year. There's some that are more fun, like this is one of our favorites, Santa Duck. We're always really excited when we get to read Santa Duck. So there's some really sweet books, some very religious books, and some very silly books that we liked or that we read. We don't like the books on fire, that we read during Advent. And that's a, a, kind of a fun, special thing you could do. So you could ask your moms and dads, would you wrap up some books and we could read those every night during Advent? Moms and dads are going to love that. I just suggested that, aren't you? But that's a fun way you can celebrate Advent. You also, we, there are other options that you can do too. Like some families like to do a different activity every night during Advent, right? And so there's this Advent countdown of activities and it has things like play Christmas carols and decorate your tree, take a drive and look at Christmas lights, choose a special treat, read the story about the birth of Jesus. There's lots of baked cookies. There's all sorts of things you do at this time of the year, right? And those can be some of the Advent activities you do in your house. 
We have this and you'll find this on our Facebook page or our website. This is a reverse Advent calendar. And this is another important part of Advent, which is serving, right? And you can serve in this way by every day during December, putting food in a bag, going to get this canned goods or non-perishable food items, a box of cereal, peanut butter, stuffing, box potatoes, and then donate this on Christmas Eve. You can bring it by church or you can take it yourself to the Hawkeye Harvest Food Bank and donate it to people who are hungry. So that's another fun thing that you can do during Advent. Our family also has this special box. And this is obviously also well-loved now because it's missing a door, but we've had this since Grant was a baby. And we, every night during Advent, we open the box, right? One door on the box and there's usually a treat in there, the kids, um, and then a little nativity figurine that we have for another um, Advent devotion that we do. Um, so you can have treats in there. There's also other Advent treat boxes that you can find so you can open a treat one night um, every night during Advent, but this is our very special box that we've been using since the boys were little and we really love this box. And we always have a time of prayer before we end Advent and we always, always, always sing Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah, which is our favorite Advent song. I hope that you will find some special ways to celebrate Advent with your family this year because we can't necessarily be together all together at church, right? but you can still celebrate Advent at home. And I hope you'll light those candles every night as you wait for the light of Christ shining in the world. And I hope that you will spend some time reading the beautiful story of the birth of Jesus and find other wonderful ways to celebrate this season. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the light of Christ that shines in the midst of the darkness of this world that shines each and every day. As we wait more for the revealing of that light, be with us through this Advent season. Bless our celebrations and help us to remember what these celebrations are truly for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now we are going to sing that song, Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah. Bye. for Messiah let the light vanish darkness he shall bring salvation to Israel 